Oh my god, it's AFX World! Oh, AFX World! episode in obviously well part two of um, the first episode so um, yeah look sorry it's taken so long um, it's just I've had a lot on I'm trying to train for Ninja Warrior and it's been a lot pretty hectic coming leading up to that um, I'm also gonna be doing skydiving course soon so I'm gonna be very slow on the videos coming up but look we'll get there in the end I still want to keep doing videos I'm really appreciative of all the new subscribers that have jumped on board all the positive comments you're giving back to me, I really appreciate it. I'm glad that I'm providing you with a good viewing experience. So with that said, uh, let's get into this. So obviously this is the part two of part, um, the F40. So what I'm going to do is this will be me um, finally upgrading the F40. So F40. So this will be showing you, look, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. Uh, There's a good video by Vitamin, uh, Vitamin 50 who actually does this and pulls it apart. So I'll show you going through it. We'll just sort of speed up the footage. Uh, this is more just to do some comparison. So I'll race it on a straight with all the other cars. And then what I'll do is do it on a, a figure eight loop and then just sort of get a comparison how it handles on the track to when we put in the new magnets, the new motor, and then we'll do the comparisons there and sort of see how it turns out. So with that said, uh, let's get into it. Woo! So here's some tracks that I prepared earlier. We've got uh, a little bit of an oversized figure eight. The back section is a bit longer. Uh, that's to test the cornering of the Ferrari. I'm gonna go both sides, just spin it around there. I did notice after I bought this car originally, uh, even with the barriers, if you went a little bit too fast, it would pop out of the track uh, on corner, certain corners, even sometimes just when it elevates a little bit. So we've got the straight track, which um, will switch both legs, do a little bit of slow-mo, fast motion to give you a bit of a look at comparison before we actually do the rebuild. Um, so we've got the Viper Scale, another 440X2, which is the Hot Wheels one, the Super G Plus, uh, Mega G and Mega G Plus. So that should give us a pretty good comparison if we switch between the tracks as well. So with that said, let's get racing. Woo! Thank you. 
So uh, we've done that, tested them. Now let's get building. All right, so we've got a Ferrari, magnets, pickup shoes, pickup springs, modified armature, and the wheels. We've got some um, wet ones, some cotton buds, some rubbing alcohol, and some nails just to poke any dirt out of some holes, um, and some uh, long nose pliers. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I'll need, hopefully, but we'll see how we go. So with that said, let's get into it. Um, let me just say I've had a few dramas with this which I didn't show on camera uh, which was these Neo magnets are very strong I had a lot of dramas with them I had to put the original armature back in there because uh, the 2.8 one just it didn't seem to like them never sat quite right even with bushes uh, or spaces sorry it ended up melting a little bit of the end belt housing and one of the um, spaces so I put the original back in uh, just to make this work so that um, so the magnets aren't rubbing on the uh, armature. I had to even put in um, just some wood like wedges. So I don't know. As you can see from the footage, it hadn't seemed to get. It doesn't seem to be going any faster. Um, if anything, slower in some cases. But when you hit the figure eight, it just sticks to the track. You can just hold full acceleration, and it just goes, 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 goes. Either track, inner or outer. It's not even like these worry something. As you can see. It just almost lifts the track. It lifts the track up with the car. So um, another one, another issue I had too was I don't. It was just too much torque on the back wheels, but it just broke the rims off. Um, so I'm gonna have to glue them back on. And I also did notice too the wheels I bought they just wouldn't um, they wouldn't stay on. So I'm gonna have to glue them onto the rims as well. 
I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I'm going to have to do that to make it work. So as you can see, I've been using the, um, the rear of the Viper. I also had to pull the Viper apart too because I broke a bushing, obviously taking this in and out. It took me about, what you did see our footage, I pulled this apart, put it back together about 20 times, testing and making sure something, uh, like testing it back on the track to see which was the best uh, thing which would actually work properly and this seems to be the only way I can get it to work fine with the Neo Magnet so I almost thought about going back to the original magnets but maybe if I did the traction on this pulling it down so it, it could be like a mixture of traction to um, speed sort of thing so if I put the original magnets in they might not have the power and it'll even go slower because of the traction holding it down to the track so it needs more power to push it so the Neo Magnets still work the only other thing I could probably think of, maybe I should get the, there's a modified 6 ohm armature, um, I did notice, which I should have bought originally, so I might end up buying that, but um, we'll see how we go. For the moment, I just want to probably, I'll probably get some new bushes, I want to fix these, the original rims on the back and see if that fixes it, and um, yeah, go from there, but for now, look, Top speed, not really impressed by it. Probably the money I spent on this, because all these little parts, because and I want the, because I had to pull it apart, put it back together. Um, the double pickup springs, like I broke, well, it sort of bent because you're going in and out. I bent them, so I had to use the second pair, um, and all like going pulling this apart to make this work. Look, I, I spent it cost me about eighty bucks or eighty dollars, sorry, um, to get all this gear in for this, so. I don't know. The traction's really good in that, but I don't know. At the moment, at the moment, it seems like a waste of money. A little bit, maybe just the traction. I could have just bought the traction magnets, some new pickup shoes, and maybe the double pickup springs, and just left it at that. Uh, maybe not gone the most the um, the hardest traction magnets. Maybe just gone like a mid range. Um, but yeah, it's just. For what you're getting, I don't know, maybe, look, give me some comments, maybe I'm doing something wrong, I've, maybe I'm still going to play with it, this was the first one I've ever pulled apart and put back together, but I've done it like 20 times and tested, done different ways, I've used spaces, everything, um, and it's just sort of, yeah, it's just not working as fish, like on here, the figure eight's good, but on the straight, just the speed isn't there, so, but anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's my version of it, maybe it'll improve it down the track. If you like what you see, give us a like, subscribe, head to our Facebook page, give us a like there. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm Ringo Machiavelli, signing out.